yeah, this was going to be the summer I shifted gears. I was going to get back to kayaking after years of not being able to do it. I was being too tired on the weekends because my job used me up. This year was going to be different. I bought a new GoPro camera. I was going to be inspired to capture both for you and for everybody and myself all of my adventures. It was going to be awesome. I hauled my much neglected wooden kayak from its mothballs under the, the tarp and began to repair and refit her. I gave her a brand new look. She's 20 years old. She looks brand new now. I was ready and for some reason I thought that with age I would have this new vitalization and the tiredness that I've been plagued with over the last few years would just disappear by Friday night. I was mistaken. They said that if you made plans, grand or otherwise, that the gods would laugh. Ha, <laughs> they're chuckling. If this year taught me anything, anything at all, it is that I'm not made of time and things don't go as planned. Yeah, with the bungees gone, you can really see that it's in rough shape. It's inside of the, the rear hatch. Some of the detail I'm going to keep, like this brown, definitely the black trim. I'm going to clean up the wood shear seam. And just taking off the bungees and the deck rigging, these straps, and then it's sanding time. What are the two things absolutely required in prepping a kayak for painting? A cup of coffee, orbital sander. Woohoo, let's go! Well, that first brush stroke was traumatizing, but wow, a whole new look for my old Woody. This is actually a Pygmy Kayaks Coho kit I built nearly 20 years ago in my living room. And uh, it's been on the Yukon River. It's been up and down both west side and east side of Vancouver Island. And I hope, with a few repairs, she is good to go for another 20 years. I doubt I am. But, uh, yeah, I think it looks all right. There's a couple of touch-ups to do. I love the gloss red. Like I said, that first brush stroke, traumatizing. But I like it. Flaky, flaky. Well, the uh, the deck is almost complete. Just need to do some touch-ups. But today, yeah, look at that coming right off. 
I'm gonna sand off this white paint, get rid of it, and clean it up. And I think the bottom is gonna be uh, just black. I've got a full pint of black paint. And uh, yeah, I'll just cover over this white and make the bottom all black. So it'll be black and red all over. It'll look pretty nice. I might leave, repaint a uh, white strip down the center. For those times when you're upside down and you need people to find you. That'd be good. A little reflective tape, maybe. So that's today's project uh, before I go to work. Got to clean this up, get it prepped and ready for painting, probably tomorrow morning. Because today is already disappearing very quickly. All right, let's uh, get sorted out and start painting. Well, not painting, sanding. Hey, there's a gooseberry. Here comes Gooseberry, he's the foreman. Hey buddy, you gonna help? Okay. red-bellied boat. Cloudy skies this morning. It's about day 10 of turning the old woody into the new woody. And woo, ah, black and red. A couple of coats of red on the keel panels. And wow, it, it's just amazing. I love the look. So it's actually overcast skies are good. Um, I've been painting the kayak after work with the last bits of daylight and uh, just so that it can cure overnight when it's cooler. Because when it's in direct sunlight, it bubbles and all sorts of nightmares happen. And I have to resand bits and it takes a little longer. That's why it's like day 10 that this thing's been going on. But now I'm looking for new bits and pieces to replace these bits and pieces. Lots of uh, bungee cords. They're still good. And I'm going to see if I can't reconfigure the deck lines a bit. But I'm going to have to source out some new stuff. Including new cockpit cover. Uh, it's full of leaves. Bugs. So that has to be done. And ooh. We attach the smart track rudder. What a nice rudder system that is. The foot pegs are two parts. You can uh, really brace your foot on them and you just a light tap with the toe changes the direction of the rudder. So nice. Yeah, that's sharp. 
Good morning and welcome to day 12 of the repainting of this kayak. Bit of a gap there, a couple of days. Uh, just wanted the paint to dry, do some touch-ups. But the bottom is essentially finished. Uh, I just need to put a couple of coats of marine wax and make it nice and slippery. Uh, probably wondering why I didn't do a better job before I painted the bottom of smoothing it out. And honestly, I thought the uh, fine grit sandpaper did a good job, but the HD really reveals every little indentation. Um, so it's not so bad. That is 20 years of hard use, um, constant use, up onto beaches, up onto rocks. So yeah, it, doesn't look bear close examination, but it looks good and it really won't change the performance of the boat. Um, so, you know, it is what it is. The wax will smooth things out and the, the indentations are so slight that, I, you know, I could be messing around with epoxies and putties and all sorts of things and like, still. Um, Rather have an indentation than a lump. So it is what it is. Today we uh, sand off all the messy black paint on the shear seam. I didn't tape this um, because I knew I was going to be sanding it. And get a coat of varnish and then a couple more coats of varnish. And while that's drying, uh, I'm going to vacuum out the boat. This is why I need to get a new cockpit cover. There's bird poop, um, cobwebs, leaves, pine needles, and the hatch covers need a good polish. They're gonna look sharp against the black once they're clean. And uh, slowly put it back together. It's been a long repaint, but it's been fun. Uh, Tidied up the hatch covers. They look sharp. I do need to get some new buckles. Uh, one of them's cracked, but what are you going to do? Got the uh, rudder cable reattached. Front hatch. Ditto. Clean that up. And yeah, see there's a crack in that buckle but that's easy to replace little things like that ongoing projects the main thing is to get it back in the water ASAP because I really miss paddling I skipped a year that was dumb so I'm losing the light but uh, I got home from work and I just had to get the uh, deck lines on and the bungees and the new GoPro mount. Yeah, Gooseberry. Want to say hi to everyone? No? Okay. Yeah, I know. It's all about the kayak and not about the Gooseberry. So, a couple of weeks, a lot of effort, and, uh, What's old is new again. So the next step is to put the first scratch on it. Uh, when I first built it, the first scratch took about 15 minutes. So that'll hurt. They always hurt. Next, let's go paddling. Flash forward, yeah. Uh, the last time I did a video of this kayak was in the spring. And as you can see, fall has fallen. And uh, my beloved baby is under her tarp. The uh, painting and repair work was very successful. And unfortunately, seven months has passed 
and it was essentially just a very pretty lawn ornament. That is the kayaker's regret. Um, I wrote a blog post on the, my WordPress site, Kayak Writer, at wordpress.com, um, with that title. <sighs> what can I say? Uh, the summer got busy. Work was challenging. Uh, Short-staffed restaurant. And uh, the end of the day... Well, the end of the day for me is usually uh, quite late at night. And uh, there was some thought about getting out kayaking in the mornings. That didn't happen. And now I hear myself just walking in the crunchy leaves. Looking at my tented car kayak. And uh, the puddle forming. I really should empty that. Uh, it's very pretty though. You know, I got leaves. Fall has fallen. In my little island paradise. Looking a little muddy and gloomy. And I didn't get out kayaking once this year. So now it's a, a full record of two years. Not once did I go kayaking. So, I guess they're making some decisions about my life. Clearly. So I guess this video started out as a springtime exciting, let's get the kayak ready, go have some adventures in the summer kind of video to, uh, well, maybe a little more introspective look at the other side of kayakers' lifestyle where sometimes life gets in the way of the things that you have a passion for. And, uh, Oh, you, it's, it's the longer you leave it, the less likely it is that you're going to step back into that. I'm, I'm, that's my biggest worry, is that, uh, you know, okay, so I'm getting a little long in the tooth to work in a restaurant. I'll be uh, 59 in the spring, and uh, the knees are going, the back is going. Ugh, burnout is definitely setting in. And it was a means to an end, and it made sense to do it. But the hours are insane. And, you know, I think even if I was a spring chicken, a younger dude, when, uh, the age I was when I started getting into kayaking, oh boy, I think I'd be just as tired. There's, you know, there's uh, only so much you can do to your body and your brain in the course of a week. 10, 11 hour days at, t at times and uh, you know you set things aside uh, I love writing I set that aside I definitely love kayaking and took some of the best trips uh, on the west coast that anybody could dream of back in the early uh, 2000s and though I hate it I, I feel like whenever I write about them or talk about them it's like I'm that old guy, you know, the glory days. Oh, am I going to be that sad man? I don't want to be that sad man, man. I, you know, I'm a kayaker. It's it, the first time I sat in a kayak on a rainy evening. Reluctantly, I might add, I did not want to leave the pub. And the bioluminescence was set off by every raindrop. And I floated away from that dock and really never looked back. And here I am walking uh, the uh, single file sheep path on the farm where I live, pondering whether or not I should change the name of my uh, kayak blog because I, I got lots of information. I've got lots of stuff I could talk about, but it is kind of glory days category if you don't go out and get new content fill your brain with new new 
bits of ocean and the scenery and being in nature and how do I get back to that and make a living? You know, I was spoiled in the 2000s. I don't know, I seem to have had money in the bank, time on my hands, as did a couple of other friends and we took these great trips. <laughs> and now I realize I took those for granted. I thought that was gonna be forever. I thought we were gonna keep doing that year after year. And uh, we didn't, we don't. And uh, I think each of us need to figure out whether or not we can do that again. Uh, I would love to, but can you relive those experiences? Do you want to relive those experiences? No, you wanna create new ones. And that's what it's about. I don't know, I'm rambling on. Uh, it's the time of year, you know, or a month until Christmas. And actually the reason I'm out here right now is my landlord is kind enough every year to let me wander about, find some spindly little bit of tree that I can use as a Christmas tree in my tiny little house. Uh, I haven't done this in a couple of years. Uh, I haven't had a tree in a couple of years because I'm off in Victoria at my girlfriend's place every Christmas. But I thought, uh, might be nice to uh, have a little tree in the corner. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to be on the island again this time next year. Who knows what life brings? Who knows what life brings? Um, I do know that since I did the Yukon River Quest in 2016, maybe 715 kilometers in three days is a lifetime of kayaking. It probably is for a lot of people. Not for me. But in the years in between, uh, two camping weekend long camping trips and a handful of evening paddles. Something went terribly wrong after that race. I don't know what happened. I, I do blame work. But, uh, yeah, it's time for a change. Maybe I'm having a midlife crisis later. I didn't really have a midlife crisis. I was uh, busy. Um, I don't go for that stuff anyway. Uh, I think it's a cop-out. Guys use it as a hidey hole for whatever it is I'm going through right now. Uh, a rethink. Digging deep into the uh, Rolodex of memories and digging deep into what makes you you. Oh, seems like a bark field here. Bits of bark. Um, yeah, I don't know what to say. Uh, Christmas is coming. The seasons have changed. I feel like the seasons of, uh, me, Kayak Rider Dave, are starting to change as well. Time for changes. Uh, you know, a friend of mine once said, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. Eh, maybe 2024 is a year to take a shot or two. I wonder how the boss would feel if uh, I took a month off in the spring and got caught up on kayaking. Wouldn't that be nice? Do a couple of big trips to the west coast, chill on a beach, with my tent. Well, I've bored you with my whining long enough. Uh, so, the kayak is ready. It's repaired. It's sealed. It's repainted. It's renamed Big Red. So, I don't know. Maybe next year.